new 2024 Eager Beaver trailer. This is a 50 GSL, so it's rated for 50 ton. We added work lights to this unit. So you click those there, and now he will have work lights so that he could load a load on this detachable low boy in the dark. I love these. These are rotating D rings, so you can get it to the position that works for you when you're securing your load. The cylinders are down in that rail there. If it had a pony motor, it would go in this box. This one is operated with a wet line on this brand new Peterbilt truck. This is the flasher kit. You have to have a key to activate it. It has the slide out, outriggers, Apaton flooring with expanded metal covering your center of your beams. It's got the boom trough uh, in the center here. Access to some of your leveling valve. Fantastic feature on this one is the spring assisted ramps in the back. It's got aluminum wheels on it. Circling over to here, you have your dump valve and your lift axle valve. So you can raise and lower your third axle. It's actually in the air right now. So you can see that axle's up. That'll activate our strobe lights in the back. And we don't sell trucks here, but we know somebody that does over at Peterbilt. They're right next door to us. So all in one day, you could come get a trailer. You could get work lights put on it. Then you could sneak over there to Peterbilt when we ain't looking and grab you a beautiful Peterbilt truck. It's got the hydraulic tank. And the wet line kit provide power to your new trailer. The beautiful side steps, the whole headache rack with a light bar on top of it. You got your Desert Eagle wings up here. High intensity LED lights with daytime running lights. And let's just take a peek. We won't tell the owner. We'll just take a little peek inside. I would tell you all about it, but I don't know anything about it, about the truck side. I'm just a trailer guy. I'm just a, just a guy. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool stuff. On this Eager Beaver trailer, we also added airway scales. It's not calibrated at the moment, but you go and you load it heavy and get your calibration there and you get your empty weight. Go back to the scales, uh, weigh it there, and that'll tell you how much weight is on your three axles at all times as you're loading. This is just about as cool as it gets.